Hello, all you YouTubers. This is the Zion Zeus, and it's now 2011 zero nine sixteen. It's around 8:30, and this is uh, the first video on this. Um, so so much information, and so many different opinions on what is going on in the sky uh, what's going on down here photographs pictures so so much uh, videos YouTube's there's just so much opinion going on right now and I'm actually of the opinion that God is bringing a collective consciousness back together on this planet right now and I think it's bringing more awareness to what's happening on the planet um, the imprint we have put on the planet as a species and um, just this, just a lot of strange kind of coincidence and coincidence going on right now uh, some of them would be you have uh, President Barack Obama um, will be in Denver on the 27th and there's different sources saying that America will be at DEFCON 1 on that date. That's pretty significant to kind of look at. Yeah, you have a lot of other folks out there saying that the 26th of September will be an absolute uh, unbelievable alignment for our planet. And, you know, you look at the uptick in all the earthquakes the volcanoes uh, there's a lot of stories now about the tides you have all the animal deaths you have um i heard a story today that bees um attacked a a guy a horde of bee not a horde but uh, a a gathering of bees i guess you would say a big contingency of bees attacked a guy in a wheelchair and the people that went to help him they attacked them too so that's just you know a weird story broke today so um, also you have NASA uh, will also be in Denver and I just heard a while ago that you're also gonna have an energy one of the major energy uh, folks will be in Denver also so it's just amazing that they all seem to be convening in that area and obviously that's uh, a DU MB area which is a deep underground military base in that particular area so this is just information you know that's coming ac across my desk that uh, I just wanted to put out on YouTube and again it's up to you what you do with the information do some due diligence um, is something gonna happen will will everything be okay will nothing happen uh, will everything be okay that remains to be seen um, um, I, I did see um, that there seems to be a lot more breaking news that a lot of people are getting some uh, information that the end of September could end up being the most extreme change on this planet for a long long time whether that happens remains to be seen um, but one thing you can look at is I posted yesterday I found it quite interesting that the USGS have been changed in a lot of their uh, earthquake data um, and I'm gonna cover that in my next video I'll probably get to that tonight but uh, there's a lot of information and disinformation going on right now so what you see in front of you right here is a, is a program called Stellarium and it's an absolutely fantastic program it's free and I have this set up right now for uh, the United States view and you can see that I set up the constellations you know you have uh, Canis, Major, Sirius um, Cancer, Leo Minor, Ursa Major which just happens to be a bear um, you have Gemini which is the twins right in the middle and <coughs> there's a lot of talk about um, this particular comma being um, you're able to you should be able to see this in the night sky and I've I decided well if that's the if that's the case then let me get a program that I can see that and um, basically if the sun is set and it's gone around it's gone around the earth then that that would be no and you're not this particular comet is not also 
going to be able to be seen in the day day toy sky either and I'll, uh, and the reason I say that is because I believe that the sun is blocking out the actual um vision of this with your naked eye during the day um and I believe that that's why um there's a lot of cloud cover and when I say cloud cover I don't mean natural cloud cover going on um on the planet right now uh, you have a lot of different areas different countries that can't seem to be able to view the sky from where they are now if that's coincidental you know maybe maybe everything is but maybe it's not and is there a reason they're doing that maybe maybe it's because it's at different places in the world it's not too close to the sun and maybe then you can actually see a shape or see an outline so that would mean then during the night you would be able to see it well this is where I would say no because um, if you if we have a look here this is the eastern sky and this is where the sun comes up obviously it rises in the east and sets in the west now there's a lot of reports that this particular object Elenin is near the sun and if that's the case then that would mean at sunset no matter where you are on the planet you're not going to be able to see it and there's also more information that it's in the constellation of Virgo well as we look here we cannot actually Virgo is not in the sky so and uh, Virgo also just happens to be uh, the maid the virgin and <coughs> so this is the sudden sky if I look behind me this is to the west of Virgo is not anywhere here okay this is the north again we're around um, and we have um, Leo minor and we have Leo here so let's have a look see if we can actually uh, find where Virgo is and Virgo should be where the Sun is in the east because that's where Elnin is so if we take away this ground here and Virgo is down here with Elnin then we know we're onto something so let's have a look and see if we can actually do that uh, let's see ground Da, 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 da. Hmm. <laughs> See, do it, take it off, trying to walk around this thing here. there we go okay so what we can actually see is Virgo is um, it does appear that um, let's take that away a little bit actually we put that back on since we had it on at the start okay so this is where we were looking and this was the ground and as we see we have the sun which would come up so if we move this we will actually find comma Elnin right here this is comma Elnin right here and it's up here in the top C dash 2010 X1 Elnin this is a, that's the official name NASA gave it and it's quite interesting um, that it's it, it is actually in Virgo and we can see that we have <coughs> Mercury also Venus and Saturn so what I wanted to do the great thing about this program is that you can actually run it forward so we're on 916 we're gonna run it forward to let me see we're gonna run it forward to the 26th and see what happens mm -mm -mm and it goes through the days day night day night okay went way too forward there let's go back a little bit it's pretty quick so we just have to pay attention to it okay back to the second it's going back going back going back 
go a little bit quicker. I'm gonna come back to September. Okay. <laughs> Brought us all the way back. How funny. Okay, so let's see if we can get to the 26th nicely. You can see the sun coming up. This particular comet is actually staying with the sun. And here it is again, it's moving with the sun. This is the 18th coming up again. And again, we wouldn't be able to see this because it's under the view at night. So the southern hemisphere should still be able to see this particular comet. So let's go forward again. I don't know why I did that. Let's go back. Okay, we'll get there. Okay, so what I wanted to look at was the twenty the twenty fifth of September. And we can go forward a little bit here into the twenty sixth. Because this is the day that everybody is kind of like talking about uh, and we'll go to the very start of the 26th so let's start right here at the start of it 4 a.m. okay okay so here's the 26th and it's quite interesting this is sunrise now as you can see Elnan is right in here however with the sunrise it's, it's blocked out again you cannot see it so on the 26th you cannot see this it, that doesn't mean it's not there so let's progress through the 26th because they say that this date so now the sun is going to begin to uh, set it's going down doing this thing so the 26th it's rising it's going around so let's have a look at that in the daytime sky this is our a plane across you can see it's there but it's actually right in front of the Sun it is right in front of the Sun so what you can do is look at the sun and notice if it's brighter so during the day it's sitting off in front of the sun's gaze uh, the sun's light so even today th it's right here so it you may not be able to see because the sun the brightness and the light from the sun is you cannot see this object in the daytime sky so let's let's progress during the night and let's have a look at a couple of things Okay, so now it's at night. Let's go back to the east, and you're gonna see it coming up again. So now it's gonna come up. So we definitely have something major going on on 926 with this object. It is at the break of day right there. You cannot see it. It comes up and on this day this may cause, I, I'm not sure what it will cause, but it could cause some issues because if it's this is right in the sun's light, this could maybe become uh, a day of uh, you may not see the sun this day let's track it where to go okay so here it is there you go and now the virgin's on her side and if you notice that this particular comet is right in here so I'm gonna do another video of this I'm gonna put another I need more time to get through all I want to do on this because this is, is very significant that on the 26th it is definitely in the sun's view um, so uh, again you can download 
Stellarium is a great program. Look look at this yourself, and uh, keep an eye out for our video too.